Okay, I'm getting a little unconventional, but this is gonna be the shortest movie review you're gonna see for this movie because this is literally the most simplest movie to talk about. So whether you see it or not, here's what you need to know about this movie in like under three minutes. Here we go. What's going on my YouTube subscribers? Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend going to the movie. Sappy St. Patrick's Day because we got another new movie coming out this weekend called Inside. It stars Willem Dafoe and is this movie good? I'm going to say this movie is very artsy fartsy. This slow burn this movie has an audience. If you love those slow burn like oh deeper thing you got to figure it out type movies. Thing is for you. Everybody else watch this jam because it ain't for you. This movie is literally one of those movies that's going to go straight to Hulu. Like four people are going to see it. And then that said, the pros and cons, I believe that Inside is a very simple movie. Whether it's your kind of movie or not, here's what you need to know about it. Here's what we got to talk about. Now, first of all, adding the movie, it's only one actor in the movie, the whole movie, and it's Willem Dafoe, and he does a great job. Willem Dafoe is an amazing actor, bar and none. You really sell the fact that this guy is slowly going insane because he's trapped in his house and trying to find a way out. And every way he's trying to try, who is Texas? Who is texting me? The way he tries is just like, that's not working. This is not working. I'm slowly losing my mind. And yeah, he sells that good. Willem Dafoe crushes in the movie. He's good. Now, plot the movie more or less. It's so simple. Movie opens up. You got Willem Dafoe. He's like his art thief. He breaks into this really extravagant house. And he's trying to steal these paintings, shit like that, until an alarm goes off. And now all the doors and, and windows are sealed. So now he's trapped in his house. And Willem Dafoe pretty much just has to find a way out. But while he's figuring a way out, he's slowly descending into madness. And that's, that's the movie. Pros in the movie, I'll say this plot in the movie is interesting. Because like, okay, you got the a cat burglar, the thief. Now he's trapped inside. Now he had to figure a way out. That on paper sounds like... That's some interesting shit. Let's see what they do with that. I'm just like, if this were directed by anybody else, it would be like one of those psychological thrillers and shit like that. Make you be like, ooh, like, the tables have turned some deep shit. But I just was just like, I appreciate it, but the general audience is going to be like, I'm checked out. And like, for first 10 minutes in the movie, I'm out. Because like I said, it gets like, when he's stuck in there and like, you know, there are situations happening in the movie that's like, for example, well, the thermostat is broken, so now the house is heating up. So like every, you know, couple of intervals, you'll see that, oh, it's 95 degrees, now it's 100 degrees, now it's 101 degrees. You just feel like, oh man, like he's got to figure a way out, but I shouldn't be rooting for this guy because he's a freaking asshole because he tried to steal this man's hard work in his house. So now, suck it. Other movie, like I said, it's a slow burn. If you one of the people that's like, I can't do slow movies, I check out too fast. You're going to check out in this movie. It is a slow burn. The pacing isn't too bad because Willem Dafoe is doing things throughout his, you know, confinement in this trapped house. It's just that the things he's doing is kind of just like not really doing much. You really are just watching a guy slowly losing his mind in this house. And that's as deep as it gets. At the end of the day, Inside was a movie that I definitely, definitely think that there's an audience for this movie. It's a very artsy fartsy movie. It's one of those movies that the Academy's gonna be like, oh, Oscar season start early now. On the phone, you want it. But everybody else, as far as like a general movie audience is experience, I don't think so. It's a movie that I'm going to remember, but it's a movie I'm just like, can't give it any higher than that. So I'm going to say that Inside, definitely a 3 out of 10, which is just mad. If you're going to see it, you're not going to see it in the theaters right now. I'll wait for it to come on streaming and then save your money. As always, subscribe. Until next time.